Yo, what's going on? My name is Game Alien, aka TGA. Today we're going to be talking about my top five characters, guest characters I would like to see within Injustice 2 because we know we're getting some, we're not sure how many. As of now, we know of a couple that are a probability that they will be in the game, but comment below your guest character you want to see here's my five and i'm going to do some honorable mentions at the end as well so m watch mojo style here so guys starting off obviously we have got probably the most requested guest character right now and that would be spawn spawn one of my favorite non-marvel or dc characters he's cool as anything as i said before he's most likely going to be in the game due to such high demand of spawn spawn he suits right into the game, you know, all the characters suit right into this game that are on this list. I just feel he would be quite a good addition, so would everyone else, it make everyone happier. Please, Ed Boon, please do it. Now, moving on to number two, this one, I don't think it's a probability whatsoever, it's just something that I thought about when I thought about the Soul Calibur game. I then thought about Star Wars character, you know, the ones like Yoda, Darth Vader, Heck, might even add in Kylo Ren, someone of fighting ability that could take out some superheroes in Injustice 2 because we don't want, you know, Han Solo. Han Solo, yes, he's skilled with his gun and whatnot, but he's not good enough to take out whoever, anyone in Injustice 2, in my opinion. On to number three, and again, it's a multiple, it's, one, it's not one character, it's two characters, and that would be Snake Eyes. And Storm Shadow. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, they would be such a good addition to this. However, since they are most likely going to be adding Mortal Kombat characters, they're kind of like ninja type characters, so therefore I don't think that they will be an addition to this game. Plus, it would be a hell of a lot of money to get them into the game because Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, one of the coolest character ninja characters I've seen in a film, G.I. Joe, uh, in the comics as well, absolutely amazing. If they're in this game, then this game would be complete for me. Snake Eyes especially. Oh, imagine all the customization you could do for that. Him with all his armor, all his gear, all his visors, his different type of wetsuit or whatever he's wearing. It would just be absolutely insane of what the things you could do. Even with the Star Wars characters, as I said before, you could maybe change the color of their lightsaber, change the color of their capes, their robe, whatever they're wearing. But yeah, that's just, just the thought of my guest character. And that was Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow again, not as cool as Snake Eyes, but Storm Shadow's the brother of Snake Eyes. If you didn't know, spoiler alert. Uh, they both have a wide range of customization, which I think would be pretty cool. Moving on to number four, again, I think it's highly requested or being talked about quite a lot. Edwin knows about it. That's Hellboy. Hellboy. He would be a great addition to the game, you know, he'd be like a slow moving character, maybe replace the likes of Bane. It's Hellboy, come on, add him into the game, it'd be great, fun. Remember, we can't have too many guest characters, so here's just my wish list. Hellboy customization would be limited, considering I don't think you'd be able to change, you know, his overall skin colour, because any other skin colour doesn't really go with Hellboy. That's why he's called Hellboy. Maybe you'd be able to change his arm and his horns, I'm not sure, that would just be an idea. Hellboy would play great in this game, I think, I'm just not 100% sure if they will add him into the game. Moving on to our last number 5, I'm not a lot of you guys maybe have heard of him, and he is just called X, the letter X. Now, some guys have heard of him, he's from Dark Horse Comics, he's basically the Joker in a cool suit. He's the killer, he's an anti-hero, he kills innocent people, anyone who threatens a city, he kills villains as well, anyone who threatens a city he will go for, he doesn't give a crap who it is, he will just do what the hell he wants because he's like the Joker type character, he's an insane psycho in a suit, google him, actually there'll be a picture on screen, don't google him. And if you're wondering how he got his name, it, what he's known for is basically giving people a one warning by slashing one side of the X down wherever he wants, not killing them, not doing it deep enough, but if he has to give them a second warning for his city, he will then finish them off by slashing down the other side, creating a letter X, hence why he got his name X, that's what he's infamous for. And maybe that would be a kind of cool play out through the game. Maybe he wins one round, slashes one X down your chest or wherever he wants to slash it. 
and then maybe he wins the actual second round or the wins a full game and his outro will be him slashing the other ex down wherever the hell he wants. And here we are moving on to our honourable mentions. Now, this is kind of a joke, this is kind of a take the mick. But it's not at the same time, because I can see these guys fitting into Injustice, because you know, Ed Boon likes a joke as well. Uh, so, honourable mentions, first starting off with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, any of them would be a great fit into this game, they'd be funny, their dialogues would be great in, in the intros, the outros and all that. It would just be great to have them in the game, all their customizability on their weapons, their shells, their, their bandanas. <laughs> it would just be, it would just be fun, a lot of fun. Now moving on to one that's most likely not never going to happen, Kick-Ass, because he wouldn't be able to kick anyone's ass in the game. Pardon the pun, I'm just, that is not a funny joke. Kick-Ass, again, not much you can do with him, it's just a funny thing I thought he could be in the game. Also, possibly Hit Girl would be skilled enough to take on some of the characters in this game, I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, Kick-Ass and Hit Girl are an honourable mention for this game. Moving on to the next one is the Power Rangers. Now the Power Rangers, they are an honourable mention, but they are a possibility. If that makes sense, they are make they would make sense if they're in the game, but if you can't just add one of them, you need to add them all, which I think they're not going to be in the game again, because they've only got limited slots as of day one. They might see them in the future, you might not, I'm not 100% sure, but there is a movie coming out of that soon, and it would kind of make sense if they brought it out then and not now. Uh, and the last honourable mention for me is the character of Invincible. Now, if you don't know who Invincible is, he's basically Superman in Spider-Man's body, if that makes sense. He's not got Spider-Man's powers, but he's got Superman's powers, but he's a young teenager who goes to school and all that. So, and he fights crime, he's Superman, but he's called Invincible, which Superman is! Anyway guys, that's it. That's been that wrapped up for my top 5 wish list plus honourable mentions that maybe in the game might take the mech. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video and you want more Injustice 2, please leave a like and also subscribe, it would be absolutely amazing if you guys could help me hit 1000 subscribers by the end of 2017, New Year's resolution guys, let's do it today. If you're already thinking about subscribing, why not just do it? Anyway guys, I'm not for me talking about my selling, selling myself out, I'll see you guys in the next video, have a nice rest of your day. Peace out.